can we even care about this story, right? There's going to be a catalyst. A catalyst is something that not something that is not down the everyday world. Let's say we're all in here taking it easy. And a, I don't know, a car comes flying through this window, right? We were all panicked. I hope you guys were panicked and run out, right? That would be a catalyst. There's something that happens that caused everything to change. Everything to go a different direction. Right now we're all in here calm, but if a car came through that window, we all start screaming and panicking. That's what a catalyst is. And the debate is, we're going to debate the catalyst. We're going to talk about what just happened. That's usually the beginning of every movie you have ever seen in your life. They all follow this model right here. They all set, set the movie up for you. They tell you the theme of the movie, what the movie is going to be about. Something happens to the everyday world that's unusual, something different. And it's going to take them into a debate. They're going to talk about what just happened. When they finish this whole session, which is the beginning of the movie, you're going to go into your middle of your movie. Your middle of your movie is going to talk about things like the B story. The B story is just the opposite of A. They call it at once the A story. The B story is usually going to talk about things like your fun in your game. It's going to have a midpoint. It's going to have a bad guy closed in where the bad guys start looking like they're winning. It's going to have an all is lost where the main character feels like, oh man, I can't do anything. Um, I lost, I just lost my mom. Uh, I just lost the game. I'm, I'm not going to be a winner. In a dark night where the main character feels like, I can't win. I can't do anything about it. There's no way out of this, right? And then there's going to be an act three, which is the ending of a movie. They're going to break into three, which means you're going to take E2 and you're going to leave them alone. Now you're going into a new movie. Your finale, you're going to show up. A, 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 what, how did this story end? How did you resolve the setup? How did you resolve the all is lost? And you're gonna call that your finale. How do you, let me give an example. Let's say, let's stick with the example of the car coming through the window. That would be in the beginning. We're all sitting here, remember the bald man was telling the story, he said, hurry up, hurry up. And she said, be patient. <laughs> in the middle, in, in the catalyst, I have a car coming through my window. <clears throat> Everybody start freaking out and screaming. The B story is, now we're all wondering who's in that car, what happened? We're going to hop the horn, we're going to make sure the person is okay, right? We're doing a lot of different things. Maybe the person gets hurt and we have to call the ambulance. That's all in the act two. Act three, we have to call the tow truck to come get this car out of the window. We gotta have somebody come fix the window back up and patch it up and make sure everybody is okay. That would be act three, right? So there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. In the way, I want to break this down to you. It's my hope that by now, you guys have all seen a movie called Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Is there anybody in this group who haven't seen that movie? Great. Oh, you haven't seen it? Okay, it's okay. I'm okay. I got enough issues. Oh, you have? Okay, all right, all right. All right. So that's perfect. So you guys will be familiar with these images. I hope you guys can kind of see them. But um, I'm going to show you how a movie works, how writing a movie works. So in the beginning, which is Act 1, the beginning, remember on the previous page I just showed you that Act 1 had the opening image, it had the setup, it had the theme stated, it had the academy that comes knocks down the everyday world and changes everything, and they're going to debate about it, right? So let's take these four first images of the beginning of Black Panther. If you guys remember in Wakanda Forever, the second one, the movie begins with T'Challa's funeral, right? Everybody's doing the dancing and everything. We know that Shiri's really sad about losing her brother. The whole village comes out, everybody's dressing in white. They're celebrating the passing of T'Challa, right? That's the beginning. That opening image and that theme kind of tells us what's going on. That Wakanda lost his hero. He's not around anymore, right? What else is happening in the beginning? We learn about Queen Ramana. When she goes to the United Nations, she tells them, oh, I know you guys, are, you think we're weak because the child has passed away. You think that we can't do anything right now. You think that you can come and take off our granium and take advantage of us. That's what this image is about. This one, we know Shuri, she's heartbroken about her brother. She's kind of giving up on uh, the Black Panther outfit and everything. She's kind of giving up on the herd. She doesn't really want to recreate it anymore. Her mom trying to tell her, don't lose faith. You know, stay strong. We have to stay strong in the face of adversity, right? And then it's also in this image, in the beginning, remember how I told you that catalyst, something comes through the window and knock down the everyday world? 
These three are their rest everyday world. We know Kashala has passed away. We know his mom is in control of the village right now. We know Shuri is sad and she's not really feeling the best. But there's this guy, not more. He comes out of nowhere and he comes, he's the catalyst that knocks down their everyday world. He comes and tells them, hey, in Black Panther 1, the movie, you guys now got everybody looking for vibranium. And the whole world is wondering, how can we get this vibranium? The CIA's in on it, the FBI's in on it, and now they're so close that they're threatening my hometown. Now more's upset about that. So he goes to visit the queen. He lets her know, hey, y'all better figure this out. Because if you guys don't figure this out, I'm going to attack the conquer. That's the beginning of the movie, act one. We did an opening in it. We set the movie up. We told the theme of the movie. We had a catalyst, which is not more. And we also had a debate. They're gonna, she's gonna talk about this situation. What do we do about this guy? How did he even get in Wakanda? Because if you remember, he got in there through the water, but they're supposed to be advanced and strong. So how did he just come in there like that, right? That's the beginning of the movie. Now, we're gonna go into act two. Act two, which is also called the conflict, that's the middle of the movie. There's supposed to be a break in two, a beast story, a fun and game, a main point, a bad guy closed in, a all is lost, and a dark night of the soul. Every movie you've ever seen, act two is mostly where you have the most fun at. Uh, if somebody asks you, oh, what was that movie about? Nine times out of 10, you're gonna tell them about act two because this is really what the movie is about. This is where every, most of everything happens, all the big stuff. So we're gonna keep it on the Black Panther Wakanda forever. Remember, Namor has came to Wakanda and he tells them, hey, you guys got the whole world looking for vibranium now. And it's actually because of this girl who goes to MIT. She's, a, she's very intelligent. She told them how they can find vibranium, what kind of machines they could use. So Namor tells them, you guys better go take care of that girl or we're gonna attack Wakanda. But we know that the Queen Ramonda, she sends Shuri and okay, General Okoye to go and find the MIT girl, right? This is the B story. We got away from the A story. We're not talking about part one anymore. Now we got a new story going on, the B part of the story. So they go to MIT and they try to find the girl and they telling her, you see, she's mad. She's like, y'all not taking me nowhere. But they're like, girl, you better you see her face. She's like, you better come on and stop playing with us. And then who else is looking for us? Who else is looking for the intelligent MIT girl? Not more in his army. They're looking for her as well. They go, oh, that's who she is? We're gonna come take her from you guys. And they actually succeed at it. They actually get her away from them. And this is, this is supposed to be, that's a little bit better. But it's, uh, so we see when the these guys come and take Shuri away, they take her to her underwater, to her under the uh, underwater world, which is Talokis, if I, if I believe. They take her to Talokis, and they show her where Namor is from. You see, like this is all the fun and games. We get to go underwater. We get to find out about the Namor and his people, where they're from, what their original story is. But of course, you. This is now when we get to all of this point. It's called the midpoint, the middle of the movie. When we get to the middle of the movie, now you kind of have to get back on track with what was in step one, act one. We have to get back into what is the movie originally about. Remember, Namor comes to Wakanda and he warns the queen, get these people away from my vibranium, they're looking for us. The queen sends her people to go find the MIT girl. Namor also sends his people to find the MIT girl. Namor and his people get the Shuri and the MIT girl to come to their underwater world. Now. That's the midpoint. We're going to take it all the way over here. That's a little dark, but this is an image of Nikita when she breaks into the underwater world so she can save Shuri and, um, what is, what is her name? Uh, William, William. She Williams in the movie. Uh, they save uh, Shuri and William from the underwater world. That's Nikita going to save them. But when she's in her midpoint, we have another section called Bad Guy Clothes In. What does bad guy clothes in mean? Remember, when the kid went to go save them, she killed somebody. She killed one of the uh, Talokan people, which was very important to Namor, right? And killing them, that's how we get this thing right here. That's when the bad guys start closing in. Namor is very mad about that. You broke into my underwater world and you killed somebody. 
So now that boy come and he let the queen know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna overthrow Wakanda. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna attack you guys very bad. And as we can see here, he does. He actually kills the queen. She drowned in a movie, if you guys remember, right? The big water attack comes and drowns her. Yes. So that's all of that. So this is called the act two of the movie. If somebody asks us what was Black Panther or Wakanda Forever about, most likely we're going to spend a whole lot of time talking about this right here. We're going to talk about them going to the underwater world. We're going to talk about um, Nakia killing somebody. We're going to talk about the queen dying. We're going to talk about the Namor guy in his underwater world. That's a lot of what we're going to spend a lot of time talking about. All right. So now you're going to come. All right, so now we're going to come into the act three. We had the beginning of the movie. We know that uh, Namor was upset about his people. They're, they're potentially being threatened because the FBI is looking for vibranium. They're on the surface of the water, and they're, they're using the machine to go down, and they're threatening his home. We know about the second part of the movie, where they have to go save the MIT girl, who Namor is, is, is he's worried about her because she's the one that's inventing the technology. And we know that the queen sent Shuri and the general to go save the MIT girl. But they all ended up meeting each other, right? So now we come into act three, which is called the resolution. Resolution means to solve, to resolve, to bring it to an end, if you will. Act three breaks into three. It's the finale, and it's the final ending. So what does that mean? Right here, we have Shuri with the flower. When Sherry was underwater with Namor, he, he showed her some things. He showed her the flowers, and that's important. Why? Because remember in Act 1, Sherry had gave up on Black Panther. She thought there was nothing she could do about it. Her brother had passed away. She didn't really have any kind of power to help. She given up. But in Act 2, which is the middle, of the underwater, she finds that blue flower that Namor tells her about that gives them power. Also in Act 3, Remember, uh, Shuri, she takes the flower stuff and she sees Killmonger. We haven't seen Killmonger since part one, right? But she brings them back and Killmonger gives her a little inspiration of be the Black Panther, don't give up, keep going. That's what they mean by the, in, in Act 2, when we were saying all is lost, remember the main character is feeling beaten down. Her mother just died, her village just got overran by these guys, they can't even stand up against them. She's feeling really bad, right? But, she empowered the village. She said, you know what? I got the flower, I got the flower, we got power now. Let's go stand up for our village. Let's go fight back against these people. We can do it. And they do. There's a big all-out war. And this is all happening in Act 3 of the movie. The end. Right? And once we have the big old fight, it comes down to Shuri and Namor. They uh she plans a trap. She traps Namor, because Namor is very powerful. You can't really do anything with him in water areas. So she has to lead him to a very hot and dry. Oh, that light is making me hot. It's making me hot, just like this one. <laughs> so she has to lead him to a very hot and dry area. And that's how she's able to defeat Namor. But instead of killing him, she says, you know what? Let's make a shoot. Let's become friends. Let's find a way to save both of our villages, which is this one right here. They both come to a street. They decide to have a peace treaty. And at the end of the movie, we find out that T'Challa, who passed away in Act 1, we see he passed away, he actually has a kid. And that's the ending of the movie. It ends on a happy note, right? So we got to see Act 1, we got to see Act 2, and we got to see Act 3. Remember, a camera is telling you everything you're going to see and everything you're going to hear. All it is is the exact same thing. It's no different. They're telling you what you're seeing. Oh, you're going to see her replant the flower and get power back. Oh, you're going to hear Killmonger talk to her about, don't give up, you know, be a Black Panther and fight for what you want. We're going to see the two villages come together and they're going to get in a big old battle. We're also going to hear and see them come to an agreement to not hurt each other anymore, to work together. That's what that whole movie is about, at one, at two, and at three. 